3,000 trainee teachers whose studies have been terminated by the Ministry of Education are staring at an uncertain future following the directive to bar training of students with D plus minimum grades. A number of families had sold off property and assets to take their children to teacher training colleges. And as Elphus Lagat now reports, the reason of wasted time and resources is an overwhelming headache, especially with families with limited means. 21-year-old Masi Chepkeitani scored a C- in a KCC examinations and now finds herself in a fix, a dilemma not of her own making, but nonetheless one that pushes her family to the edge of despair, having already paid 70,000 shillings for a course which, after close to a year into training, has been terminated. The government have withdrawn that chance. We don't, know, we don't have anywhere to go. Even if we want to change our courses right now, we can't just shift like that. Here at their home in Kakwang village, Baringo County, she goes on with her usual household chores, wondering what next. <laughs> Unable to switch to a different course, days after the government terminated the training of 3,000 teachers with a plus minimum grade. I'm asking governor, where will I go? Or even the others, where will they go? Her mother, Ludia Kilo, had so much hope that once her daughter, the sixth born in a family of nine children, went through her course successfully at Moi Teachers College, where she was admitted close to a year ago, she would realize a long held dream of being a teacher and guide her siblings while serving the society. <laughs> The nightmare that the teacher trainees face comes up following a letter from the Ministry of Education through TSE that revoked the legality of students who scored C- minus and D- plus joining teacher training colleges across the country to pursue diploma and certificate courses. Still, National Assembly Majority Leader Eden Duale, who is opposed to the Ministry of Education's directive, promised trainee teachers to engage the ministry and petition the president to find a working solution. Meanwhile, Wajia East lawmaker Rashid Amin has a bill before parliament seeking to take away TSC's mandate of deciding entry grades to teacher training colleges. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV.